I see you're watching this video on YouTube. I highly recommend checking out the description below to find my channel on Odyssey and Library. The platform is ad-free after making an account and it has no evil overlords. Thank you. Howdy folks. I'm here doing a quick uh, first impression of the OS that came on the PinePhone. First off, I want to say I don't mean any of this as an insult. I know these people have probably worked long hours, tons of work into this. So any criticisms are just me showing you guys what isn't ready yet, at least on this distribution. So whenever I powered it on, it had Manjaro KDE edition. And I need to say this, whenever you get it, first thing you should do is update it. <laughs> I was having a lot of bugginess and just slowness and... Um, Finally, I remembered, okay, I need to open up the terminal, run Pac-Man, and actually get the packages updated, so I at least have, I'm at least testing a recent version, and that helped a lot. It really did. It got faster, uh, the keyboard experience was much smoother, things weren't crashing, I was able to go through the settings and change stuff, so that helped a ton. So, for those of you who haven't used Manjaro, and maybe you're like, oh, Pac-Man, uh, the command I usually use is just Pac-Man dash capital S lowercase yyu. Okay, so the reason I'm making this video right now is because I'm actually going to be transitioning off of this. Um, it Even after the update, it does have some bugginess, and I also didn't put a SIM card in this to test like calling and SMS and that kind of stuff yet. I'm waiting until I get an OS on here that's actually smooth enough for that. Otherwise, I'm just leaving the SIM card in my OnePlus 1 Pro, or OnePlus 7 Pro. Um, but I wanted to show you an example of what I'm talking about with bugginess. So, um, right now, uh, it's asking me for my pen, so I'll put my pen in. And then, that's what the screen looks like. And it's gonna go to the lock screen. It's gonna crash and go to the lock screen. So what happened was, I, turned, or I, I looked at the lock screen and said, updates available. So I'm like, great, okay, well, thanks for letting me know. So I, you know, open it up, put in my pin, open up the terminal, as you can see in the background, and I tried running the Pac-Man command. And it told me that the, well, let's, let's just read it real quick. Linux PinePhone and Linux PinePhone headers packages are available for update. So I'm like, great, okay, so shows me that, I go to press Y on the keyboard, and then the keyboard just starts freaking out. And then it just goes to the lock screen. And I'm like, uh, that's kind of weird, so I unlock it, try to press Y again, but the keyboard's glitching out, and, you know, it just crashes and goes to the lock screen. So then, I unlock it, I hold down the power button, hoping to get the reboot menu, and, you know, I didn't get it, and I kept turning it on and off a few times, but now you can see that the reboot menu is overlaid, but if I try to press it, nothing happens. So like if I press anything on the screen, nothing is happening. So, you know, I'm at a point where I'm gonna have to remove the battery to kill the OS and then turn it back on. And it's, it's in beta. I, I actually don't know the status of Manjaro KDE. I don't know how far along that is, what's supposed to be functional. I haven't looked at that yet. Um, KDE is not one of my favorite desktop environments. I was actually hoping to either have GNOME or Fosh or something like that. Uh, even on my desktops, I prefer not to use KDE. Uh, back in the day, whenever I started using Linux, KDE was known to be really resource intensive. Uh, it would take a bunch of RAM and on the servers that I was running it on, uh, for like Minecraft servers and stuff, it just took too many resources. So I usually end up using um, GNOME 2 or Mate now or Mate or whatever people want to call it, uh, or XFCE. But on my normal desktops, I just use GNOME, GNOME, however people want to say that too. So otherwise, uh, Using this was fine up until today, this just bug. Um, I was able to go in the settings, put it on dark theme, 
Uh, I was able to browse the internet. I was able to use the package manager to update. Um, I'll see if I can get this going real quick so I can actually show you that it, it does work. It does work. It's just not ready for prime time. And I knew that buying the phone. And that's probably how most of the other operating systems are too, honestly. Um, whenever I last checked a Reddit thread, it people were saying, no, if you want this as a daily driver, definitely don't. So I can go ahead and show you the booting. It's got a... Uh, It should have a little KDE wheel. Yeah, there you go. KDE wheel spinning, which is kind of cool. Wait until it boots up. Huh. It just had a mouse on there for a little second. <laughs> okay. So, let's boot it up. Wants my pen. Give it my pen without showing you. Okay, plasma's loading. I mean. uh, okay, there we go. So, like, I was able to set up the weather app, put it on the home screen. There you go. I was able to change it to Fahrenheit and miles per hour, and that all worked. Uh, so, on the bottom here, uh, I wonder if this has a screen record. Let me check real quick, because I'll just record it from there and I'll just talk to you here. There is a recorder app, but is that just audio? Okay, I think that's just audio. It's got a little microphone button on the bottom, so I don't think that's what I want. I could probably install something from Pac-Man though, if I wanted to. I wonder if this would work with OBS Studio. That would be really cool. I'm not seeing anything on here immediately. Um, but I was able to go into settings and online accounts and uh, it just crashed to the home screen again. And, oh, ooh. Yeah, something's real messed up now. <laughs> so now when I unlock it, it just flashes out and just crashes. So, if I could get those updates, it might help. <laughs> but I think I'm done playing with the Mandrago KDE. I think I'm probably going to go to Ubuntu Touch and uh, see how that goes. I'll also probably test Postmark at OS eventually, just because I want to see how it works. But Ubuntu Touch, uh, my Ansible poll collection... It, it runs on Ubuntu, as well as Arch, actually. So it would have worked on this, and I tried doing it the other day, but I didn't have it. I had it on my guest Wi-Fi. If I had it on my normal Wi-Fi, then it could have gotten the uh, script to pull down all the uh, Ansible information. But Ubuntu, my Ansible collection works really well on, so I'm hoping to just flash that on here, set this up as a workstation so it gets a bunch of flat packs and... It'll have uh, all the apps I want along the left, as if it were a desktop. Um, but yeah, th these guys, I mean, just the fact that I can even use this and like I went to the settings and changed stuff, I mean, that's really impressive. So I know it is flashing and crashing out right now, but the amount of work these guys have already put in and how smoothly it worked, uh, what was it, Saturday, two days ago? I am honestly really impressed. So don't take it the wrong way that, oh, I'm not saying this is crap. I'm not saying that you shouldn't ever use Mandaro KDE. I'm just saying that in my experience from what I've been seeing the last two days, it has still been pretty buggy. So don't expect to buy one of these, put Mandaro KDE on it, and to just go out on your day-to-day -day business and make phone calls. Well, I haven't tested phone calls and stuff, but... In my experience with how it's been crashing and I have to remove the battery like that, I don't feel like that'd be a good day-to-day -day or daily driver experience. So, anyways, that's just my impression for now. Uh, I probably won't have time to actually do the post-market OS or Ubuntu for maybe two weeks or so. Uh, I'll actually be out of town, so maybe I'll take some video while I'm out in California. 
But, yeah. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Take care. Bye.